Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here for Tuesday, 26 May. I'm at St. Michael Catholic Community at Travis Air Force Base, and I'd like to share with you a couple things regarding to our first lesson for Mass today. And I want to ask you this question. What is your legacy? What is your legacy? St. Paul is in Ephesus, and he's been there for two years speaking and teaching and, and reasoning with people, helping them understand the faith. As we talked about yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video, it was his with his first experience with the people from Ephesus, Ephesus at least in this, this, this time around. He has to fill them in about who the Messiah Jesus is and what the gift of the Holy Spirit is. They, didn't, they were lacking in this knowledge, and they needed to learn more so that the Spirit could work on their knowledge. Well, today he's coming to an end of this, and he's never going to see them again. He is, God has this sense, God's Spirit is revealing to him that he's going to give his life in martyrdom. And we do know later around A.D. 64, A.D., Anno Domini 64, he gives his life in Rome. He has, by the order of Caesar, he's uh, beheaded. The same year, it might have been 67, but anyways, in the 60s, the same year, St. Peter was crucified upside down in martyrdom as well. Paul is very clear about what his legacy is with his people he cares about in Ephesus. Listen to what he says. But now I know that none of you to whom I preached the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. Paul is making clear what's most important to him, what he wants to leave them with. When a priest leaves a parish, he may never see those people again or many of them. And his concern should be, have I told them everything that they need to know to the best of my ability? Am I responsible for the blood of anyone, any of them? In other words, what he's asking himself is, does he, did he give them everything they needed to know to have a close relationship with Jesus Christ? I do the same thing. Sometimes, and it's probably a little bit over the over the top i suppose but sometimes a lot of times actually i really worry about what i say in a homily it's not as if one single homily is going to make or break the day however an accumulation of homilies over the years help to form people in their understanding and faith in jesus christ am i giving people what they need to the best of my ability. It doesn't mean I have to be the best of preachers or the best, uh, more, most expertise of teachers, but am I involved enough in my own faith life, in my own experiences, my own study, my own growth, that I can give that and share those things with other people in a way that's accurate and true? That's the goal. And really, that should be your goal as well. You also are a priest. Did you know that? You're the priesthood of all believers. What I do in public, such as in a mass or in a Bible study or teaching or whatever, what I do in public, you should be doing in private. You wish to leave to those you encounter, especially your families, the legacy of the kingdom of God. Don't substitute that legacy for other immediate experiences and gifts that you can offer them as well. We need to keep things in proper perspective. We don't put sports or karaoke or whatever before our faith in Jesus Christ. When I leave, when my family will never see my face again in this life, please God, decades from now, but I don't want my blood them to be their blood to be on my hands. In other words, I want to give them everything they need to have a close relationship with Jesus Christ, so they can have a joyful life, eternal life to follow, and that I may be able to, I will be able to see them in the eternal kingdom called heaven. That's our goal. That's our purpose for being here. This is the proving grounds for heaven. 
This is end game for all of us. We just don't realize it. And we ask ourselves, what do I want to leave the world? What do I want to leave the world? I want to leave them an example. I want to leave them good words and kindness. And I want to leave them this legacy of Jesus Christ. Because the legacy of Jesus Christ captures everything. It fills everything. It makes everything a purposeful and joyful and full of light. Let's have a word of prayer. Send your spirit, O Lord, upon us that we may speak the words of God in truth and in, in honesty, not holding back when we should give words that are hurtful or painful, but at the same time, not being afraid or unwilling to offer a word of encouragement. May we also teach by the examples we lead of following you always, every day, make us prayerful, thoughtful disciples. We ask this through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a great day. Keep the faith.